Good morning, everyone. I didn't. I don't know if I have spoken yet. Yes, I did. I did. Uh, okay. So good morning, uh, and uh, welcome to this uh, weird stream. Um, I I'm kind of upset, and I've been for like a long time. Like I'm not that upset really, but you know, I'm just. I mean this the sims 4 um <laughs> where to start even um yeah so let's let's start back in the year 2000 there was a new millennia uh we right were doing uh incredible stuff uh as he he been known to and he released the sims and uh i don't think we had did we have cars right away because i think that came in an update uh and it was really cool so we didn't have cars from the start in the sims one but like at the moment that we got cars like since then we never looked back it's like Cars has got to be in The Sims. We can't play The Sims without them, okay? <laughs> Few years went by. I uh, can't remember which year it was Sims 2 came out. I didn't memorize that. Sorry. Um, but they obviously had cars from the start. And like everything is building on it. Um, so that like if you if you get a promotion you get a nicer carpool car that comes pick you up and uh if you yeah like everything if you if you reach like the top of some of the um careers a helicopter comes and picks you up it's very cool and yeah it is only um it it comes in it picks you up and it goes off screen and there's a loading screen. Fine. Yes, that's what it is. But in The Sims 2, you could walk places. Um, but you had to walk like all the way off lot and was kind of annoying because you didn't want to do that. <laughs> and um, if you missed the carpool, you couldn't walk to work. Uh, that that was like considered too far to walk walk so you I'm not playing this sim they play themselves um yes yeah, so, so if you didn't have your own car and you missed a carpool you couldn't take a taxi because taxis were, were a thing but they didn't cost money and I have issues with that I I always thought they should cost money but we didn't have that so you could either miss work or buy a car and go to work in your own car. And um, that was like, you had to really pay attention to the carpool. And I missed it quite a few times because I wasn't paying attention. And also you figured out that the carpool would stand there for exactly one hour. So that if you, your workday started at 9, the carpool would, would arrive at 8, and you could get in at 8, but you could also get in 1 minute to 9, and arrive fine, <laughs> in time for work. So why would you go sooner, right? So you like, ah, I have time to do this, and then it was time to go to the carpool and you misjudged how long it would take for your sim to walk over there and it just went off without you and you missed work that day with a penalty, no pay um, and uh, you might lose your work if you do that too often. And then, uh, yeah, uh, so, so that was great, like in The Sims 3 like I'm playing now, you take the car everywhere, a cab just materializes. If you want to go, like we're over here, 
uh, on this beautiful island that I built, uh, which have horses that get stuck over there. Um, <laughs> yeah. So if you want to go over here, a uh, taxi automatically appears here and you just zoom through here. Like, so, oh, oops. So it's, uh, it's not bad, like awesome or anything, but it just adds a sort of real realism uh, to it. And I still have an issue with uh, taxes being free. They should not be free. Why, why would they be free? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so Now, where was I? Oh, all right, jobs. Do you see these newspaper laying around here? Yeah, uh, this world is pretty special because... <laughs> oh, well, I, I'll get to that. So in The Sims 2, you could use a newspaper and you get three... There's the camera. Three <laughs> job listings each day. And if you don't like them, you can wait to the, uh, to the next day. Or you can buy a computer and get five job listings. I think it was five or seven. I think five. So there's a, a few more, but you can't like just decide I'm going to do this job now uh, and just take it. No, because it might not be there. And <laughs> if um, uh, yeah, and th there was a lot, a lot of work so like we have a quite a few in the sims for now oh poor horsey he's all grungy we need to no all right okay wake up we need to brush you poor horsey come on good morning uh brush there you go Now, in, in The Sims 4, you can just, like, take whatever job you want. Like, it's kind of the same in The Sims 3, I don't remember, but this is, like, if, if you can see, it's quite an empty world because I, I like starting with an empty world and kind of build on it. And I have a rule that I start with uh, something, and in this case, I started with the, the food store, which is the combined food store and a lunch restaurant. And then I also added the, the writing center because I couldn't. <laughs> but then I, I usually do, uh, so she is pregnant and this baby, when it grows up to be old enough to have a job, then I could choose another civic building where it can work because you see here, I can't pronounce his name, Fahad, maybe, Fahad, yeah, uh, he works over here, he could also work over here, I don't think you can work at the writing center, so he only has these two options, so if he goes in the newspaper, uh, we can just try that, uh, newspaper, hey look, uh, it's kind of annoying, that tree was clipping, um, so, find a job. He can also find a profession because I have some pack <laughs> where you get a singer, acrobat and magician, I think. Oh, the new newspaper is here. We <laughs> Hi, child. Yeah, they ran off. Well, how did that go? So you get a new newspaper every day and it can get annoying and this sim over here she um she apparently likes to collect them in her inventory so you have a lot of newspaper lying around and it can get quite messy uh so she, see he can work at the restaurant no and and that's it because he only already works at the at that little uh, trailer where you can have uh, your fortunes, the fortune telling station. He works there, so he can't take that job. So this is the only <laughs> job that is going to be listed. I think that's quite cool. <laughs> like, that, that is so realistic. And honestly, like, oh my goodness, now the baby is on the way. 
All right, can you go to the hospital? I'm not sure she can. I can't click her. Um, no. <laughs> well, that's too bad then. I don't even know if I can afford... I can't afford a crib! What are we going to do? I, I wonder what will happen now, actually. I can't remember. Um, anyways, so that feels like... Oh, hi. Uh, are you on an island map? Yes, I made this world myself. That's why it looks uh, kind of crappy. <laughs> because they didn't add much to it uh yeah so i i just it's a hello world world i just started up um create a world that we have in the sims 3 and create this island uh, and then i uh painstakingly i must say uh, added it into my game and uh now i'm playing on it so yeah it's it's an island And uh, yeah, she is in labor and I, there's no hospital. I haven't added a hospital. Can you add a diving zone with a boy? Uh, why would I do that? Um, do we need boy? Can we, oh, uh, I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> because we can go uh, into Shane's city. We can and uh, edit but there aren't much choices i think i should have done that in uh, in creator world because in here we have these options here and we have like the world editor and we have trees rocks uh, landmarks yeah and lots oh we can add lots like wherever we want so I recently added this lot. It's an empty one. It's a beach. I am planning on buying that. Just copy one of the from Isla Paradiso. Yeah, how though? <laughs> like, tell me the first step. Where do I go? <laughs> uh, because I, I don't have them here. <laughs> oh, uh, and I don't have that pack. Uh, apparently, Back in the day, when I was playing The Sims 3, um, I uh, thought that 400 uh, Swedish crowns for an expansion was expensive. Um, so I didn't buy all the packs, actually. Uh, and I can't really show you because <laughs> there's a funny thing about Sims 3. When I try to stream it, it's... Um, Isla is freezing bad. All right. Um, when I try to to record it with OBS, it gets so dark. So I need to like bump up the the gamma. So if I uh, tab out to um, if I tab out to, to Windows, it looks like this. <laughs> it's it's very bright. Uh, so I, I had to do that. <laughs> Also, I haven't figured out how to get the windowed mode to cover my entire screen, so I'm not doing the windowed mode. So I copy the diving zone, intend to put it in another map. All of them except Sunset Valley is deep enough. Yeah, I, I think I ac accidentally made this part here too shallow because I, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's let's just go back here and see if we sh can have her baby. This is Tammy, and she went to Egypt and got married to Fahad. Uh, that was already married, but you know, things happen. They clicked, <laughs> which is another thing that we can do in The Sims Three. <laughs> we can click with people like. Uh, hmm. <laughs> And we had that in Sims 2. So, like, there, there's so many things. Like, can't we do something here? Like, is the baby ever going to come? Because I can't, I can't afford a crib. And I know we get cribs for free in The Sims 4, but I can't remember what happens in The Sims 3 if we don't buy one. 
so uh, I, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. Oh, are you going to take... <laughs> this is so fun. So look, here's the carpool for his work. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. Oh, it's a boy. What are we going to call him? Um, Bender, after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh look uh, oh did it say if she had a good uh, she didn't have a really good pregnancy because we can only sh sh choose one trait now what happens if I uh, he's eager he gets excited over almost everything um, well yeah I mean sure I guess so what? Uh, oh, look! Here's the little baby. Oh, where is it? Ah, oh, the baby got lost. Because I'm so excited over over this thing because he has has the carpool here because mm, gotta have a carpool. And then he he has teleported over there. <laughs> like, then he runs over here where he works. <laughs> this is weird. That's like. Maybe that wasn't so great <laughs> Because the entrance of the lot is over here and this is actually placed slightly outside of the lot with move objects Because I wanted to space them out Um, yeah <laughs> It's a strange world uh, Okay, so oh oh so she has got the baby and they don't have a crib yeah, because you don't need it, because you can put the baby anywhere. I mean, where are you going though? Are you putting the baby out in the desert? Like, where? Are you, what are you going over there for? That's weird. Oh, and I love this. Uh, you can click number four and it's, it says uh, ultra fast through current action. So if she's going to do something, I can just forward and then when she's done doing it, it goes back to normal speed. And I think that was so um, groundbreaking and I can't believe that they still haven't done that in The Sims 4, but they're bigger issues, so I haven't bitched about it. <laughs> but I've been bitching a lot on Twitter. Like a lot. Um, I have not been, well, I've tried to, oh, hang up, we, we need to try and do that, how do we do it, no, it doesn't say how to do it, I can't remember how to do it, um, I think you click something, no, Hmm. I I seem to recall that you clicked the front door. Oh, it needs to be the front door, and apparently this wasn't the front door. So, like this. <laughs> oh, you you went ahead and did that game. All right. Uh, so we'll like uh turn down the the green a bit, maybe. And yeah, and the red. No, we're just gonna do. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is gonna be good. Look, I made an all... my own color. It's horrible. <laughs> Can I turn it on? No. No. Like, is it always on? All right. Okay. Um. Let's let's do the white ones oh they oh they turn on by night time all oh, right that's that's the thing all right oh 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 the baby look 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 they put the baby on the floor and now they're sad give them the bottle oh and the horse dug up something and then it ate it yeah okay good <laughs> and you can also play as the horse if you want so you can tell them to dig um, and it wants to 
do stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, my main point is when you go back to The Sims 3, it feels like you're going up to The Sims 3. The only thing I have an issue with is the the way that The Sims look. Um, they're okay. They're not too bad. But if they're ever, like, as long as they keep their mouth closed, because when they open it, oh, and that's kind of creepy. <laughs> when they open it, the teeth are too far back. So that's my main issue with this game. The teeth are too far back and it looks weird. Um, yeah, other than that, they look okay, but they look kind of like potatoes. So she wants to have a bed because they don't have any. Oh, and they have uh, whims or like wants. I don't know how to be vaccinated. Can I go like this? Uh, no. I'm sorry it's in Swedish because I couldn't be bothered to change it. Services. All right, call about services. Let's see what, what is in there. Yeah, they can get a cold. They can get the flu. I don't know if they can die from it. Uh, but here we can call the fire department, the police department, the adoption service is free. Uh, we can also cancel the newspaper and they will not respect that at all times. Just like in reality, the pizza, misologist, mixology, oh, whatever, uh, babysitter, um, mm -hmm. maid, DJ, wizard, acrobat, singer, butler. No, we're not gonna. Um, I wanted to vaccinate. How do you vaccinate? She wants to be vaccinated. Uh, against the flu and I don't know uh, I will just I don't know if it's recording well while, while it does that I will just have to google <laughs> um, so if you need to see something <laughs> your screen will light up right now, right about now uh, seems free vaccinate flu Um. Oh, I need to go to the hospital. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so she can't do that because they haven't built the hospital. So maybe one of her kids can buy, uh, build a hospital or like not build one, but you know, like found one. Oh, and after I realized that I have put my, all my package file in the downloads folder for some reason. They they go in the mods folder on the packages. Um, uh, after that, uh, I realized that I had downloaded at some point. Um, I wonder where they are. Maybe they're just when I'm building, can't build that on a lot. I have downloaded at some point um, doors that is rabbit holes for all the civic buildings. So let me out. <laughs> so um, I can build my own buildings. Uh, so that will be pretty cool. But sometimes I just take the pre-made ones if they fit the environment. So yeah, all the civic buildings are rabbit holes. And um, like, yeah, like all buildings <laughs> out in the world, um, which is okay. Um, because like, I, I prefer it to be a rabbit hole before not working, but I'm not sure how I feel about <laughs> the Batu place. I'm not buying that pack, by the way. Like, um, I'm I'm sorry. It's like 
before I start buying packs, uh, there needs to be there needs to be cars. We need to have better babies because, like back in two thousand fourteen, like five years, five after Sims Three came out, The Sims Four came out. And apparently it was rushed for some reason, I don't know, because The Sims 3 was crashing. Uh, like, hardly anyone could play it at that point. I mean, it seems to work fine now, I don't know. Um, because I, I remember, I had big issues. I was like, I'm so ready for The Sims 4, I can't play this game anymore. It crashes, like, whatever I do. It's horrible. Um, and then the same Sims 4 came out and we thought we were all saved and then it actually took me a while to like I pre-ordered Sims 4 but it took me a while to stop playing the Sims 3 because there was so much things lacking like uh, I'm not a big fan of ghosts I think they must mostly disruptive and like I don't like them but the fact that they were missing was like even still it was annoying what are you doing now oh she she's gonna walk inside <clears throat> and um yeah so so like keep in mind that the sims 4 came out three years after the sims 3 came out and i don't think we have had any more updates to the sims 3 with content <clears throat> After that, I don't, I don't think. So, um, like, think about that. And now The Sims 4 has been out for for six years. That's one more. And like, The Sims 5 haven't even been announced yet, uh, which I think is good because it like when when you keep buying pack after pack after pack. You kind of feel like you don't want to be starting over. So I feel like the more pack they put out, they need like a pause that, where they don't put out anything and say, we're not putting out more packs. We're, at, we're just patching the game now and also working on Sims 5. I don't think it's a good idea to, uh, to release... The Sims 5 like a month after a pack for The Sims 4 because it will just feel like they're just milking us for money which I, I get it it's a company I mean like what else are they going to do of course they're gonna try and get our money but they gotta be some balance you know <laughs> you need you need to feel like yeah okay I'm giving you money because I think you are giving me stuff like <laughs> You see how it works? <laughs> Not like I'm giving you money because you want it, because you're a company, because you have stockholders. No, no, that's not why I play the game. <laughs> like, I don't play for the stockholders. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I mean, that argument, it's so backwards. It's so weird. <sighs> Oh, she's not pregnant anymore, so she can actually go riding now. What's that doing? Oh, he, he's gonna go home with a car because he can't walk all this way. <laughs> oh, we need to... Hey, what are you doing? Getting so dirty, Basil. Like, uh, he probably has dirty feet as well. All right, so yeah, okay. So what is missing from the Sims 4? Cars, obviously. I mean, I had this long rant about cars already, didn't I? But you know, um, I expect cars to be in the base game because then I expect every single pack that came after the base game to build like a small tiny amount on the cars. like. If you have uh, get famous, I expect when you go around riding around in a an expensive car, like a really expensive, like a Tesla or something, uh, people that see you might uh, like notice you, so your fame should go up 
a little bit, just a little bit. And if you have like 50 cars, maybe they will write a newspaper article about you and you will gain, gain fame um, be, because of the cars. But oh wait, we don't have journalists, do we? And we don't have... Um, Oh, that unicorn spawns everywhere, so I'm not even excited. Um, but maybe we could try to befriend that. Oh, did we get money? We can buy the crib now. I am so busy talking. Uh, we also need a baby room, but I don't think we can afford it. Uh, baby stuff. Um, this one is cute. There we go. I don't have a changing table for some reason and they still want to want me to buy stuff. I feel, I feel that's sort of greedy. They should like they should lower the price of sim points. Prove me wrong. Right. So, yeah, an eco lifestyle is my like favorite pet peeve in the Sims 4 because it doesn't do anything. Honestly, like, have you seen Plumbella trying, like, for th three? I can't do this. I should stop holding fingers up. I, ca I apparently can't do it. What? Lynn wants to know if Fahad wants to go on a date. That's outrageous. He is married to me. Do you think he does that? Hey. Will he go on that date? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe he does that. I mean, he did leave his his previous wife. So are you going to go? No. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I'll go on a date and then he didn't go. Uh, all right. Okay. But where is he? Oh, is he supposed to ask her out now? Does he even know a Lynn? This is Sonia. This is Deirdre. Who's Lynn? There's no Lynn. She doesn't exist. Was that a prank call? Might have been. I don't know. Alright, okay. So, as I was saying, did you see Plumbella trying for three parts to uh, make the world in The Sims 4 go industrial? Did you? Because she tried and she like almost lost her mind. It was so hard for the meter to go away from neutral. It will not go away from neutral. You know what I do? I go and build two stories of basements under every single lot in a, in a neighborhood. And I put the industrial floor and uh, the drywall wallpaper. Uh, and I don't just do like a square. <laughs> I do rooms that are one tile wide and cover the entire lot all over the basement for two layers. That's what I do. And it's, it's so annoying to do it because it's like this. It's, it's, it's <sighs> I don't have words for that. I mean, it's just. It's it's not supposed to do it. That's not the way you're supposed to accidentally go industrial because the game is about teaching people how to do the eco lifestyle. All right. So according to The Sims 4, being eco friendly is just ignoring like ignoring it. Like in ignoring the the right, I I was trying to adopt this horse over here, but it's asleep. And she was the cuddle bender. <sighs> yeah, um, that that's not what I I was expecting, and also like nowhere was there any indication that that it would be so divided like if you get your neighborhood to be industrial in the sims 4 i mean that's it 
that's the neighborhood that is affected by that. The next door neighborhood, like right next to the, the other one, like isn't affected at all. It could be like super green if you, I haven't, I started by trying to get it to industrial and it was so hard that I lost all interest, to be honest. So I haven't tried to get it to super green. So <laughs> that's, that's just what happens. So like, did you try to do that? And then you realize, yeah, okay. So um, I built this home on one of the uh, 64 by 64 lots, uh, which is, was originally a park. So how big, big is my neighborhood? One lot, one. So is anything else in the world affected that I am having like uh, an industrial uh, lot uh, spewing out garbage and uh, pollution and having drywall in the basement? Because apparently that's the worst thing that you can do for the environment, not putting up, um, what do you call them? Wall cloths. <laughs> what do you call them? Wallpaper. Thank you. Not putting up wallpapers are really bad for the environment, apparently. What? Everybody has drywall under the wallpaper. Doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah, that was a huge disappointment. And then, uh, like, up, at, up until this point, I have bought every pack for The Sims 4. Like, uh, and granted, some of them I bought on sale, but I bought all of them. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, I was, I, I had this feeling like a few packs before that, like um, they're taking stuff that was like one pack in The Sims 2 and 3. And they're dividing it up in like one expansion and like three uh, game packs and a bunch of stuff packs. And we're expected to pay like hundreds of dollars for a complete experience. And uh, like, where is it going to stop? Do they expect us to pay like $2,000 for The Sims 4? Is it worth it? Like what, what kind of a spectacular thing could you give people for $2,000? Because they have said there are years of development and their rate they're putting up packs now is like we had, we had one expansion, uh, one stuff pack and a game pack this year. And now they're saying that it will be another expansion pack so there's two expansions one game pack and a stuff pack for one year like um i can't deal with this no there's other games where you just pay like 200 crowns like and you get a complete game there you're not uh, <sighs> Look at she, how she picks up the baby. It's so cute. Now, I don't have, apparently, generations, which bugs me. And I don't know what to do about it, because I don't want to give money to EA. But look at what you can buy in the same store. You can buy this uh, change and ba bathing, bathing station for 600 sim points. I don't want to spend 600 sim points because that's money and I don't think that's really worth it. I think those are overpriced. <laughs> so um, I don't want to, but maybe that someone modded something. I don't know. It feels so... I mean, I, I used to love The Sims and I still do. But I just feel like, like, 
like I said, I do get it. It is a company. They need to make money. But I don't feel that they're trying hard enough to make money. They are... St um, and I, I feel that the Simmers is partly to br blame for this. I keep getting in notifications for Sims that aren't even in my neighborhood or uh, in my lot. I don't understand <laughs> why I do that. Maybe it's uh, this NRAS mod that I have. Um, yeah, so uh, I've seen so many people comment like this. Uh, I don't like this pack. I'm not interested in it. Uh, I think it's shallow and I don't think there's enough stuff in it to warrant the price. But I am paying for it. I am buying it because I need a complete collection. Yeah. There's so many hardcore fans that do that. that and I was one of them. Until Eco Lifestyle. Up until then. I wanted a complete game. I wanted everything. And uh, when people buy every pack without like it's like when you when you give your kid the allowance regardless regardless if they help around the house they will stop helping around the house they get money anyway why would they do that it's the same thing if you give them money for doing nothing like, if they just put up a pack and say, we have a new pack, it contains one item of clothing. 100 crowns, please. And you give them that because you want a complete collection? Why should they do more? The, it, mm. And I've tried to explain this to people. And they go, well, I want a complete collection. And I'm, yeah, I get it. You want, like... You're a fan, but at some point you need to stop being a fan if they're not treating you right. Like it's a like a relationship. They're not buying us flour anymore. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, not that I like flowers particularly. Uh, give me a potted plant that I can keep alive. I, I hate when the flowers die. Um, so I kind of feel like uh, just buying a bunch of flowers in a vase is kind of pointless in a way. I mean, I do appreciate them. It's a complicated thing. All right. Anyway. Oh, is that horse awake now? What horse is this? All the wild horses are called wild horse. This is not the one. This one, it looks kind of weird with that uh, shape, but it's the one that I have been um, talking to. And my plan is, I hope this is a girl, I don't know, but if it is... Can we see that? No? Then I can make baby horses. Oh, yeah. The Sims for pets. That should have been an expansion called The Sims for Pets. But we don't have that. We have cats and dogs. Yeah. Like, granted, like in The Sims... Oh, there's a lot of things here. Why is there things here? Oh, because I've made a park and put some spawners. Because I didn't put spawners uh, in the game, uh, in the map. All right, and this is onions and stuff. Um, yeah, so, so, all right. So in The Sims 1, 
I think we we got cats and dogs, but there was also skunks that could come and spray you. It was annoying and horrible and, you know, added to the challenge of the game. Uh, like, what's the point of fences if you can't, if there's nothing to keep out? Um, and um, was there anything more? I don't know. Uh, but in The Sims 2, we also got cats and dogs. Can't really remember what else. Uh, well, let's just skip over that. <laughs> Can't remember what we got. But it, as you can see, in The Sims 3, which is the last iteration of the game before The Sims 4, we got cats, dogs, and horses. We also got, got uh, rodents. Uh, I don't know if bugs were introduced in this, <clears throat> in that pack, or if we already have them. But if we go here, and we go into this category here, we can see that we can buy, like, this is kind of cute, we can buy an ant. Um, station where we can have ants here and I think they could escape as well uh, annoying the sims anyway uh, we have a bird cage because we can find and capture birds in the wild and we can also buy birds and this is for keeping small uh, birds in and then we have uh, this bird tree for bigger birds that you can also find if they spawn in the world and uh, capture or you can buy them. Uh, I don't remember where I got this from but it's a dragon's egg and it hatches dragons that keep on your shoulder so it's just small dragons and I don't remember if they actually do anything I haven't played with them for a while but then we have a terrarium for rodents uh, and there's squirrels and um, oh I have one of these so I can actually try I have a squirrel in here that I didn't capture I captured the squirrel but then I forgot to feed it so it um, it ran off um, and then I bought a squirrel so we can uh, carry the squirrel uh, he can Oh, stop sleeping. He can give it food. Uh, like I saw. And then he can... Hey, take the squirt. There we go. So we can uh, buy the squirrel or a rat or a woolly rat, which uh, kind of like a um, guinea pig. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, there's that. And then... Where was I? Here we go. There. And then there's a terrarium for snakes that you... Like, we have snakes in The Sims 4, but we can't catch them and put them in a terrarium for some reason. That's just silly. That that should have come with pets. And the, the expansion should have been called Pets. And I, I'll, I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, and then we have this uh, terrarium for tortoises and for lizards. Um, so that's that. And also I bought this bird and feathers hen house, which actually sports real uh, hens that you can pick up eggs from, but we can't afford it. So otherwise we would have that. I do believe that I at some point bought the cow pen as well. I can't see it in here now. I don't know why not. It's obviously not over here. Like since, since this is in here, I expected a cow to be in here. I don't know where it is. All right. Anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so like if we compare cats and dogs to Sims 3 pets, 
like it was the same price like we paid 400 crowns for the sims 3 pets and we paid 400 crowns for the sims 4 cats and dogs now there has been some inflation i realize but you know like increase your prices then the fact that the sims 4 cats and dogs is not called pets opens up the possibility of them selling the my first pet stuff with an additional pet afterwards and it's I, we still can't have snakes we still can't have lizards like not uh, that I am a big fan of those but you know the diversity and we still can't have birds at all so what are they going to do are they going to to sell us yet another pack with birds like imagine that imagine if they sell us cats and dog for 400 and then they sell us uh, hamsters for 100 and then uh, lizards for for 100 and then uh, snakes for 100 and then birds for 100 that's 800 like that's twice the price and I I do realize it is a company of course they're gonna do that of course they're gonna try and get us to pay more but you know it's just too much more <laughs> it's it's just I mean I would have been fine if the expansions was like 500 and they had as much as Sims 3 I pay more and I get the same amount because it's like later but you know in a later game uh, with better graphics I mean these graphics on it they're not bad but they're not great so like uh, some people say that Sims 3 is hideous I don't think so I think it's just like slightly uh, worse than the Sims 4 but uh, one thing that makes Sims 3 look uh, slightly worse than Sims 4 is like uh, I, I can't do it now because there's snow all over the place but uh, the texture uh, you can see that it repeats um, you can't see it now, <laughs> but it does. <laughs> and uh, of course you don't have that in Sims 4 because they have built the worlds and they have filled up the worlds with items, which I have not yet done because, and I will probably never do because I have the intention of filling up my world, but I never do. Uh, sometimes I used to fill up the area around the lot where they are living, but this is a desert island, so there's just sand dunes, so it's I I don't want to put like foliage all over the place. I could put rocks, but I don't like that idea either. So yeah. Anyways. Oh yeah, in The Sims 3, I can create whatever scenario I like. Like if I wanted to, I can build a world like of an alien planet and say, oh, these are aliens. Um, how does it work with aliens? Oh, right, uh, you can get abducted and the male Sims get might get pregnant. I think. Hey, my name is Von Tris. Um, thank you for the follow. Beautiful Hannah. <laughs> uh, I'm born with autumn and try to be patient with me. Yeah, okay. If you are patient with me, <laughs> because I'm on a rant and I have been for several days, and I finally felt that I need to like get to just talk about this because I have a lot of feelings about this game why this baby boy in a pink crib why not I don't I don't understand the problem it's not pink either it's uh, red um, 
and it matches this bed that I also didn't bother to recolor. But, you know, I could recolor it. And I know you ask me to have patience, but <laughs> this is what I will do now. Oh, it's all purple. Make it a little bit more. There we go. They're all better. <laughs> I reject your uh, color, um, like uh, the colors aren't designated for for uh, genders. Uh, colors are for everyone. <laughs> what the baby favorites? Um, you mean this? He likes Egyptian music uh, because his father is Egyptian, I assume. And he likes lime pie and yellow. All right, so we can we could make it yellow, but maybe that's why he's crying because his parents doesn't know that they don't understand. <laughs> they put him in the pink crib. <laughs> what what is the Sims if you don't torment them? <laughs> Now, I was going on uh, about world creation. You see this world here that is currently in winter because I didn't turn winter off, which I could do, which I probably should have done. Um, I made this world in Creator World. It's a Hello World world. I just... Uh, I wanted to see if I could do it, and then I started playing in, in it. And then I um, didn't stop, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. And now, oh, um, this has been bugging me. Um, yeah, so, so uh, in The Sims 4, we are at the mercy of the world creators at uh, Maxis. Wow, we put his crib in yellow, but we did not think that a baby favorite color. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. How would you know what a baby's favorite is? You can't ask them. <laughs> so in The Sims Four, we are totally at the mercy of uh, the Sim Gurus and what they create. And if we want a lot of worlds, we are required to buy packs. Uh, we cannot create them ourselves in a sandbox game that it should be. Like, The Sims has always been a sandbox game. And with The Sims 3, like, they took that to the next level almost. Like, um, like in here I can do, like, I feel like it, I can do whatever I want. Like, in my other save game, I have um, a family of fairies uh, with pointy ears and everything. <laughs> And they have wings, and they're very pretty. And the snow is lighting up my face, making me look uh, horrible. Maybe I can do it. I can make it worse. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, what was I talking about uh worlds yeah um it, uh, yeah i am so annoyed i mean not even that i can i can't even edit the worlds um in the sims 4 so if they put like if i want to create a medieval play uh, a medieval save game which i might want to do oh no fire where is the fire? Why is it? Why is it burning? What is happening? Did you leave the stove on? Oh no! Uh, horribleness! Uh, uh, um, quick, call the fire department. Here's the phone. Uh, call the fire department. Stop cuddling your horse and then um, um, help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I'm doing with parents' bed. 
arena to decorate fairly and put in their favorite color oh yeah uh yeah i did that in the last home she was in she had a um she likes the brown the uh, spicy brown color so i had a bed with that color mm. But I didn't save it for this particular bed, and now I will, I'm gonna need. Uh, well, we we could. Oh, we can't do that while it's burning. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. And he likes uh, gray, so I thought they will have a lovely home with lots of colors. Not. <laughs> uh, anyway, then I got lazy and the, like yeah, I just plopped out everything with this uh, default color. So. Now, see what happens here. We have a fire truck. Yeah, because if we have cars in the base game and they add firemen, which should be in the base game, then of course they're gonna have fire trucks in the base game. Where the baby? Uh, well, the baby is probably over here sleeping. It's it's fine. These walls are made of of uh, stone, so like it's. It's fine, uh, but the kitchen is going bye bye. <laughs> uh, anyway, so when I create a medieval save file, I am forced to live on that little island in uh, Windenburg because that's like one of the few places where they haven't put modern lighting and stuff remember to save your game beta yes we should remember to save the game because uh, i tend for tend to forget uh get a baby out of the house no why we have it's it's fine look 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 it's fine oh we can also talk to these people i think no sandra has to go soon she has to be somewhere else so i can't do anything well, yeah, that's the same as the same four. I was actually very disappointed that I couldn't talk to the fireman in the Sims four, but apparently that's the same. Like in all of that, what are you doing? Why are you over here? Uh, he's missing the. <laughs> oh, this is a bad <laughs> translation. It says that he misses work, as if, as in, he uh, is actually. Yeah, he wants to go to work because it's been a long time. Uh, yeah, it can work. And then he can gather money because they actually own this thing. Oh, now we have a lot of money. I wonder what, I wonder what the... Oh, it's 20,000 to buy that lot. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, ba, 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 ba. Can I buy this? No. But can I buy this lot? I don't think so. And also, I don't understand what this weather stone actually does. Oh, this is even more expensive because I put stuff on it. All right, okay. Can I buy this? No. Can't buy that. Maybe I should put out, um, well, they have so little money, but maybe I should put, put out a small community lot that they can buy. Um, also, she, when she was in Egypt, she, she bought this thing and she can't stop. <laughs> she just keeps on doing it. Fahad is much m better at it. Why didn't you go to work? I told you to go to work. Uh, are you done? Work. Were you missing work? Why would you do that? Why can't he go in all of a sudden? Is someone else in here? Huh. That's weird. Maybe you should change work. 
somehow. I don't know. Hey, you should w go in here. He's not allowed to go to work. All right, let's have him go home then. So then he can go have something to eat because he's like starving to death. That's not good. Do you have any more Sims? Uh, not in the save, I don't. But we could go to the main menu. Uh, I just recently stopped playing The Sims 4 and like in a fit of rage started to play Sims 3 and none of my old save files are here. I did stream this um, farming <coughs> family before. They need neighbor and married couple with a toddler daughter and so when they're some be a toddler, he will have someone to play with. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I might do that actually. Just so, like, because I don't think, that, oh my goodness, I haven't been in this save, save for a while. All right, so this is a world I downloaded, so it looks much better than mine. It has, it has more than one um, texture. <laughs> That's awesome. And it has a lot of things. Um, and a festival area and stuff. And you can't go here by car, so you need to take the boat. I think there's supposed to be a bridge here, but there's not. <laughs> and... Um, Yeah, I couldn't afford to build them a proper house, so they're just sleeping on the ground. Uh, oh, look at this cute little barn over here. I think that's outside of their lot. Yes, that's the part of the world. Uh, this this world is so much nicer, actually. Like, look at the like hmm, at the. Uniqueness that you can create like I download this specifically to be a farming community and it really is uh, The one the person that created this is like an artist. I love it uh, so we can just download uh, Worlds to the Sims 3 and have it be Awesome Why the bed is, is outside? Because it wouldn't fit inside and there wasn't money to build walls. I'm sorry. They they thought it was better to have a bed uh, outside than not having a bed. <laughs> so that's... I could have like built walls first, but then they wouldn't have a bed because there wasn't enough, enough money. And I don't cheat um, most of the time. I sometimes do. But I, I mean, I, I love me a challenge. So I am very well aware that you can cheat. Yeah, I know that. Uh, pe people keep telling me, you can just type in mother load. Yeah, I know that. I, I know. Uh, but I don't want to because that's not how I play. I love make story for The Sims. Yeah, me too. Um, because that, that family there was like my farmers they were starting up a legacy <laughs> obviously I didn't keep playing them <laughs> in these ones they live uh, in this thing you can't see why is it snow everywhere I tried to show everything things but yeah uh, so I built like uh, I actually texted the ground here to look like uh, the bottom of a tree so they live like in a tree um, stump or you know ideally it, they live in a tree they didn't kill the tree because they're fairies this this girl here she is a regular human but she married uh, her name is something Vanessa she married Efren and he is a fairy and they have had a boy 
called where is he is he down here no oh there he is he's with his aunt now she's the sister of uh, Sondreja is the sister of Efren and they had Eladen and uh, little Shamu because I <laughs> ran out of names <laughs> and she if you look here you can th this is how i can tell uh she's also like shimmering and stuff oh oh where did, why did that happen uh all right okay good hey come on okay so she is also a fairy and uh, you can see that if you do this you can see that she is a fairy <laughs> see, she has the green thing around her and everything they own like is colored like in tree uh, textures and everything like except for the stove that is made out of uh, rock <laughs> because they wouldn't have like that much metal and stuff in their house <laughs> the married couple with baby son and they have a African neighbor and the married couple named be Layla and her husband Ryan and their toddler daughter Von Trees. What do you think about that? I think I want them to be neighbors to the, the to Tammy and her husband from Egypt. I think uh, because I made the desert world and I thought like that's like not Egypt but it's another country like in the same realm or whatever um let's go back there i've never heard cheating on sim 3 you didn't uh well um you know technically move objects is cheating oh my and oh i love that they do this they we have loading screens but we had, it's a little game, like we find a thing uh, that we made and uh, you get some points that is rewarded to your sims. Did I get any? Because <laughs> there wasn't any time. Oh no, she hurt her hand. When did she do that? What happened to my horse? Why is it green? What happened? <laughs> well, now we get to see the glitches. Why is it green? I don't like it. No. Ah, uh, horribleness. Oh, well, maybe that will fix itself. Like, it doesn't seem like it's the texture, it just seems like it's a shine that someone has put on my horse. Why? Okay, uh... Let's restart the game. <laughs> um, because... That good idea. I Sorry, I missed when you write, uh, wrote that, so I don't know what you thought was a good idea. Um, but uh, all my ideas are good ideas, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, come on. And if you're wondering why it's bright like this, it's because uh, something about the, the Sims 3 it relies on shaders in some weird way so when we use OBS to record it it's look it looks super dark so I had to brighten uh, things up and also um, Do you have that family on the exchange? How does it work? I'm not really good at it. I downloaded a few sims from there, but they were heavily modded, so they didn't show up in my game. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was too bad. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, I just feel like regarding The Sims 4 again, I'm sorry, I'm going on about it because... <laughs> okay, so The Sims 4 came out and we were like shocked about all the things that were missing. We were like, where's the cars? Where, what is the, up with the babies? They're not good. Where's toddlers? Why isn't there any ghosts? Where is the family tree? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> like, what? what is going on? Why isn't there uh, a fire department? Why isn't there a police department? Why, uh, like, when uh, babies get taken away, um, there's no social worker that comes and collects them. Like, what is that about? Um, are any of these sims sunburned? No. Find sunglasses. There's no sunglasses here. <laughs> anyway, so there was an outrage on Twitter and wherever it was. And they went ahead telling us, um, calm down, we know there are things missing. We had to release the game early, earlier than planned, for some reason. Can you do make of Sims on Sims 3? I don't understand the question. Do you mean create a Sim? Because I can do that, but I find it kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't like create a Sim. I usually... <laughs> I don't like Sims 4, right? Uh, this is how I play. I create one Sim and then I go into the world and she has babies with, with the Sims that are already there. I hardly make Sims. like, And the one that I start with, I'm like, yeah, okay, this will be fine. We, we, let's play now. <laughs> that is not my favorite part of of the sims um okay so yeah uh they said to us that calm down we are going to patch in all those things that you are missing calm you will just wait and you will get all of the things that is missing from the sims 4 and uh, you will get them for free and there will also be uh, expansions and packs of course, and uh, it will be fine. Yeah, okay, so we waited and we got, like it took, um, I think three years before we got toddlers and that was a long time. I think we got them in 2017, which is three years after the release of Sims 4, which is way too long. Like uh, some people were saying like, we got that after one year and I was like, no, because like the entire first, generation of my 100 baby generations uh, let's play all the children just uh, aged up to directly to children so and i didn't start that like straight away i so so that didn't make any sense to me but then someone said it was 2017 it makes much more sense uh yeah so we were like oh, okay finally now we can ask for, for other things. And I don't remember what, like the community kind of, you know what happened? It's, it's so cool. It, it, it's like we agree to ask for a thing and then we all shout about it. <laughs> and a lot of people were shouting about university. And honestly, it's not my favorite pack, but it's kind of expected to come out. So I was like, yeah, just release it already. And I wish I didn't buy it because I don't, I don't play with it. Anyway, is the horse not green now? Because it was annoying. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It still has a weird tint to it, but maybe that's the weather or something. I don't know. Uh, it's not a full moon. Anyway, so. Um, We should ride the horse. Oh, it's uh, it's five in the evening. We we should be able to 
participate in a... Can you actually... Should you work? Can he work? Is it his work time? I don't know. Oh well, yeah. Uh, but now, like, back in 2014, uh, I don't think anyone expected us to still wait for stuff uh, this far in. Wow. I am though, you could make that Africa family for that couple live in Egypt and town and they can be neighbors. Yeah, uh, I didn't want to make them if you had already made them. So I thought maybe they're on the gallery or the Sims exchange or whatever it's called. Uh, I do not have, I really thought I had the Sims three generations and um, Okay, I'm so angry at EA right now because what they have done with The Sims 4, we are still waiting for stuff after six years. Did you expect back in 2014, if they had told you, you will wait for cars for six years and still not have them? You will wait for bunk beds for six years? and still not have them, you will wait for us to fix those ugly ass babies for six years and still not have them. Do you think that I would have bought any of the packs if I had known that? No, I would have kept on playing Sims 3 and like invested my time and money in there. So uh, back when the Sims three generations came out I didn't have as much money as I do now so I I think I pirated that uh, pack back then and uh, I don't want to do that now because I'm worried that um, it will show up in my origin for some in some way and that they will block me and I have spent a lot of money in my origin account so I don't want it to get blocked so that's not an option and then the other option is buying it full price because it's not on sale and uh, i don't want to be giving them money <laughs> at this point it's the same company i want to i don't want to give them money so i don't feel that i can get it right now and I'm sad because uh, I did play it and I know that it is good and people are praising it on the internet so I really want it but I don't want EA to get money so yeah I don't want to give them money but and I don't want anyone else to give it to me because they will give EA money it's not me losing money I'm worried about, about it's them getting money I really don't care about Sims 4 no more and when I've got Sims 3 for PC and I've been playing on the Sims 3, yeah. Doesn't it feel like an upgrade? <laughs> like going back, it feels like an upgrade. I mean, buy some of my Sims 3 games from Walmart. Yeah, I get that and I understand that other people might, but I have principles. Like, I, I'm being so... I... Hmm. My principle can really cripple me sometimes. I can't go against them. I like, it's, um, it's a me thing. <laughs> and now I'm like, if I get Sims 3 generation, with, which I want, because I want strollers, I want walking canes and uh, the other stuff. I know there's a lot of gameplay elements in it. If I do that, they get money, like regardless of where I buy it, because uh, I said somewhere that like I don't want to buy it because I don't want to give EA anything. Um, what what was that? Oh, nothing. Um, 
and I want to give them money and people were, were like suggesting where I could buy it instead for cheaper and I said they will still get money if I buy it on Steam they will get money if I buy it if I were living in the US I could go to Walmart and, and buy it there probably cheaper uh, but they would still get money so um uh, yeah, yeah, I I can't do it. <laughs> it's just it's just like I can't. Ah, they will work fine for me. Yeah, yeah, it's not a that that is not an issue either. My Sims generation came with my Sims Three Worldwide Adventure. That's cool. So you got a bundle. Uh, I that I have. <laughs> I have World Adventures. Um, I wish I could see what. Uh, games I do have uh, pets uh, apparently anyway there we go yay I won <laughs> uh, yeah so the thing with with buying from a store is they at some point either they already gave money to EA and if um, they run out they will buy more so they will give money more money to EA uh, because you're buying it uh, I'm not trying to make you feel bad uh, it's, it's fine I'm just telling you why I can't do it <laughs> because I have uh, like my principles are, yeah, as I said, they can cripple me sometimes. Can you make an Africa female? Uh, I could go to Africa because now she has uh, some money and I can meet a female over there. <laughs> uh, I don't feel comfortable. I, like, yeah, so when I create Sims, I'm not like some people are like you're not being uh diverse enough yeah because i always create with this hair which is kind of like mine when i was a little bit younger and they're always white because i i'm basically making a version of me Th that's basically what i'm doing but then i go to, into the game and i meet all sorts of people and they mix and match, you know, and I feel like I get the d diversity that way. Uh, and when I, if I go in to, to create a sim and try and like create an African female, as you say, I feel like I, like it's not my place. I don't know enough about their culture. I could do that while, while playing privately, but I would probably misrepresent whatever I'm making. So, so that that's you see, I have so many issues. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just making versions of me and go into the game and mingle with the people. Who are you? There's so many paparazzis in this game, and there I don't know why they why they are here because there's no celebrities i think where can i see the celebrity marker do i have it here no um i don't know where to look what is this oh that's just the collections journal uh we oh we have a lot of points what is good? We could have uh, never get dirty. That's pretty good. No bills. Well, hmm. it feels like cheating, but it's kind of not because it's part of the game. What is this? No, I think I'll go with this. There you go. What can we buy for you? Uh, okay, so he will never get sick. That's pretty good. So now, yeah. 
So then someone said, um, I made a huge list about what I expect cars to do in base game. I expect not being able to teleport off the lot because there is a car to get off the lot and uh, disallowing teleportation would make having a car actually be uh, a benefit. You get better benefits from having a car and disadvantages from uh, not having one. And I think that's important. Um, where are you going? All right. And um, yeah, so so that that's the the main thing that I would like cars to do. That like you you need some kind of transportation to to go places. Like you need to to catch the carpool to get to work or have your own car to get to work. Otherwise you won't, won't get to work. You miss work that day. And uh, like if you want to walk to your destination, you will have to walk all the way to the edge of the uh, neighborhood. Like uh, which in Windenburg is very far. <laughs> So that's why we all use the M key, but I would ban the M key. <laughs> no M key. Um, and um, so that's that's the thing. And then uh, being able to do things in the car, you can have a car alarm so that it reacts to burglars, which I would expect in the base game, which we don't have yet. Uh, and uh, you can have, uh, you can sit in the car and talk to someone in the car and you can make out in the car and you can have woohoo in the car. You can sit in the car and listen to the radio that is built into the car and uh, you could, the car could break down on you <laughs> if you're, if it's a cheap car and the more expensive car could go faster so that uh, there's an incentive to buy an even more expensive car and not just have the most cheap one uh, and obviously the the more expensive would be more reliable or sorry uh, can come with a guarantee or something um, and I would expect firemen to have fire trucks I would expect police cars for the policeman that comes to catch the burglars that we don't have yet. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had 16 points, which was like just on off top of my head back when I wrote it. It was like a lot. Uh, oh, teaching teens to, to, um, to drive and uh, not having teens able to drive unless they have been taught and um, maybe not even having adults being able to drive uh, but that we didn't have in sims 2 so i don't know about that uh, anyways and then i would expect uh, all the packs to like build on the base game cars like get famous would give you fame if you have a, a very expensive car and um What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> and stuff like that. So then uh, someone said, yeah, that would pro probably be a game pack. And I was like, yeah, you know, I know. This is a lot of development that I'm asking for here. So they will probably sell it in a game pack. But I would have expected cars to be all that in the base game. Oh, in two days there is the snowflake day. Um, so, like when it's not, and they promised us to add everything, like way back then, I'm not sure I wanna give them money for it. Like, 
I feel like I don't want to give them money until they have given us what we would expect from a, a base game. And I feel like I'm pretty much over The Sims 4, so I'm not sure I want to spend more money on it. I would expect, having spent that amount of money I have spent, would be like for a complete game. I shouldn't have to pay more for a complete game. Uh, have you did a Sims a single mom on here? Yeah, you know, if Fahad goes on that date with Lynn, then she might as well. Uh, yeah, that might happen. We don't know. <laughs> um, you should do a single mom with her daughter. That would be fun. Uh, yeah, like, hmm. yeah. Actually, Let, let's go and give them a neighbor um, with a with a baby daughter. Can we do a baby daughter? I don't know if, if we can actually. I think we can only make toddlers. Uh, let's see. I could maybe she somehow <laughs> oh she's cute but you asked for a, uh, okay okay so let's do uh you asked for a an african look we have different shades of white and then we can make them not white <laughs> we can make them dark if we want so what looks good i like her hat she's very special Oh, that's so green. Why is it so green? I don't like it. Someone said we're all a shade of orange and it's true, but this is too orangey. Hmm, how dark should we make her? There we go. Yes, we can do toddler. Yeah, so she can have a toddler. Uh, why does it always pre-select the ones with hats? Oh, that's because she has a hat, isn't it? I kind of, I really like the hat she is wearing. I, I think we should keep that. Where is it? Why is it so hard? Come on! Oh, there. Hmm. <laughs> I want, to, I want to recolor the hair. Ah, uh, I don't. Why did? What did I do? I didn't like that. Ah. Uh, Wait, wait, I can, I can back that up, can't I? Come on. There we go. Now it randomizes um, colors that aren't presets. I think that's cool. It's not the fastest thing in the whole world. It was when I started... Mm! No, I want to recolor the hair. I want to give her a different color of hair. Oh, that's you. You do that, don't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Uh, so, like, uh, uh, African women might have not have straight hair, but I really like her hat. So we'll have to do uh, like this. I don't like the colors for her on there. So let's see, is there a good preset? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like the material, it's too shiny. Make her hair black, yes. I agree with you. <laughs> I hate when Sims spawn with the dark skin color and uh, and then they're blonde. It looks so weird to me. That would never happen in nature. Uh, is any of these like less shiny? No, they're all very shiny, aren't they? So, so like if I make it black, well, that's not too bad. Then we can have... Uh, 
Let's just do this. Does what a African woman hair is? Yeah, there. I would guess they don't have straight hair though. But this one does. <laughs> Hello, Mariah. How you doing? You know you can change your... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I kind of like... See, I'm not into fashion or anything. So I'm like horrible at this. I'm like... I see that it doesn't look good. But every change I make... Every step I take makes it worse. Worse. It, it makes it... Oh, so I, I kind of don't want to change it too much because it is, goes bad. <laughs> Are you not feeling good? Oh no. I hope it's not the thing that is going around. I hope we can all stay healthy. Can we have these? Like... Okay. I hate her shoes. You remember in The Sims 2 when the shoes were stuck with the clothing so you couldn't change them? In some ways that was a blessing for me because I didn't have to choose them. So... Oh, her gloves is horrible. We need to like... What should I do? Should I remove them or just... You know what? We can have them match this. I love that we can do that. Ah! Why is it so hard? Come on. There you go. There you go. I don't know what she's trying to be. <laughs> but, but you know, this is this is what we have. And uh, come on. We're going to make Oh, I can't make a baby. No, we need to add a father. <laughs> so should he also... Why is, why is it the same? Did I add a clone? Should he be like dark too? Or should we have... He looks awful. What is this? We can't have this. Let's just randomize. Uh, that's that's better <laughs> But I'm not sure I'm not sure about this hmm. <laughs> Um why are why are all the presets so bad? <laughs> this mom Layla. Okay. Because I'm the worst in uh okay, let's do this first. No. Hostrum. No. Ivesater. Hellholm. Uh okay. Layla. Oh I spelled it incorrectly. There you go. And personality. What what traits does she have? She's a diva. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe she's flirty and a hopeless romantic. <laughs> And the dad is Ryan, all right. Um, is she a cat person? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't, she, she has bad luck. And... Um... She's friendly, I think so, and I think she loves heat. There we go, we have a complete person, and she wants to 
Hmm. I think she's like family oriented or something. There's so many of them. They're not as fleshed out as The Sims 4 because The Sims 4's uh, aspirations are more like a tutorial. Uh, so they can't have as many. And uh, and these are more, more like um, maximize these two skills or something like that. So they're in a way they're more open because we don't have to focus on getting them done we can just like see if we do in the end um they don't where is where is everything uh, i'm trying to find a the family oriented stuff but maybe she's not into that surrounded by family there what is it? She wants to raise five kids from a baby to teen. And we're gonna make it hard for her by making her a baby from the start. Should he like have the these genetics though? Maybe she maybe he does. I, I'm gonna delete him after making a baby. Yeah, see we can have a toddler. You said it was a daughter. Oh that's nice. Maybe we do it again. Ah, oh, she cute. Uh, I don't like the hat. <laughs> so I, she can't be in existence because I don't like the hat. It's called surrounded by family. Yeah. How is she blonde? Come on now. That doesn't have any hair. Oh wait, we'll do, <coughs> we'll do uh, this. Oh dear. Well, she's quite interesting. So we, we take this person here. And then we age her down. There we go. And no hat. <laughs> That's cool. I like that on a, on a girl. <clears throat> so this is what she looks like like it's still a bit weird that she has red hair I think um, so let's give her brown hair and then this dude over here we're gonna delete him there you go Oh, you said his. You said his name was. Oh, yeah. Um, I've deleted him because this is a single mom. <laughs> there is toddler von trees. Oh. Am I making your family? Uh, that you had in the Sims for uh, von trees. Hey, why don't you have a surname? You, you apparently your name is Hal Holme. It's very weird, um, but I'm not here to judge. There you go. Um, clothes. Ah, uh, they want me to buy stuff. I don't want to bu be buying stuff. I want to put on. A little little dress on her or whatever you call that oh this is very cool huh where did this come from did I download this she looks like a cave person let's make it <laughs> pink <laughs> oh, this is very weird oh, I don't like it let's keep it that way um I think it needs to be darker though because it doesn't really match her. Let's just do this. There you go. It looks better, I think. I don't know. I don't care what the last name is, me neither. I really don't. 
Are we done with these people? What um what a personality did this kid get? She loves the nature and she is a good person. That's good. She likes R&B and uh, grilled salmon and uh, favorite color is blue. Well, I like it. Uh, how do I make family connections? Do I just rely on the game reminding me? Oh, we get the opportunity to do it here. Children of. There we go. Now... She can move in to a lot that I haven't placed yet. Uh, should we do a super small lot? I've been doing super small lots over there. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks so weird. I don't think so. I think we should have... Uh, this is obviously too big. Mm. Like, I don't really... Ah, no, I don't like it. There. Like, they live in a very oddly shaped lot, apparently. So now we need to take this lot and make sure it's a home. And I don't think we're allowed to put this in here. No, because there's nowhere to live there. So we, I think I think what the game requires is that we put out some beds. I think that is what it is. So um, what to do with this lot? Let's make a foundation because uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it way up here. <laughs> this is this is gonna look uh, super strange. Um, Bear with me. No. This is gonna be really. Why? Why did I do it like this? Well, now I did. So um, it's, it's just it is what it is. Uh, never mind that. And we need. Oh, look at what we have in the base game. We have ladders and spiral staircases. Mm, this doesn't work, does it? No. So I think I'll have to... <laughs> <sighs> this is kind of horrible. Oh well. Thank <laughs> like, Why did I... <sighs> I don't like it. Let's start over. No, this is not what I wanted to do. Let's not make it quite as high. Let's just do this. It's too big. I can't do it too big because I need it to be uh, um, a reasonable price. Oh, that's a very horrible staircase. Mm. I can do this. No, why? Hmm. Oh, 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 look what we can do. We can remove one of the railings. <laughs> <laughs> and not the other one. And if I'm not mistaken, we can have two different railings on staircases. The Sims 4 could never. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like this. Just to taunt them. Uh, yeah. And let's put walls. Everybody needs walls. And we want a door. Oh, look, here they all are. It's like uh, the science center rabbit hole. We not we need to do that though. Everyone living in this world has these kind of doors or something along those lines. And, oh, what's this? They're really doing a good job with making me want to buy things. Look, I want to buy this now, but I don't know. I'm not going to. Uh, this one is really nice. It doesn't go with this world, but it's nice. Okay, there. And then put like a bunk bed for later. Like later on, they're gonna have a big family, right? So they wanna have a bunk bed. And we're gonna have. Oh, what's this? Rocking chairs? 
does it say what pack this green thing is? Oh, I can see what packs I have by doing this, I think. So I have the Supernatural, the Spotlight, Pets, Evening Things, Destination World, The Sims 3, the Store Bought Items, and Seasons, of course. So uh, let's let's have just have this very regular child container <laughs> there. I think that's all we need to do, uh, and we we want to paint ah the walls with the same wall. All the houses in here are built with the same materials because. Not just because I'm lazy, but kind of because I'm lazy. And like those kind of roofs. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I should be able to move her in here. Unless I made it too expensive, which I didn't. Hooray! Now we have neighbors. <laughs> uh, Back to the game. You don't have to save when you do this. I just find that it's a good practice because sometimes things crash. I haven't had a single crash though since I started playing this. Oh look, we have new neighbors. <laughs> uh, oops, my sim is like dying. Of energy failure yeah you take the baby oh wow look at the time <laughs> when you're ranting about sims 4 time really does fly by doesn't it so i should go do stuff i had plans for today no i didn't but i my plan was i should do something useful and this is very useful but you know what I mean, so... <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed hearing me uh, being annoyed with The Sims 4 while playing The Sims 3 <laughs> for quite some time. And uh, if you would uh, like to follow me on other places, it's like down there, but you don't have to. And um, take care and don't uh, stay safe and everything. So, bye.